Council and Guardian were not present. The leadership of the Roman Catholic Church in this country opened an important meeting today to again take up the issue of priests accused of sexually abusing children. CBS News correspondent Byron Pitts has our report. America's Catholic bishops here in Washington for a rewrite of historic proportions. Four days to revise their landmark sex abuse policy in language they can live with and the Vatican will sign off on this time. We will not step back from our compassion for those who have been harmed. Strong language perhaps, but in the end, the bishops will do what Rome demands. The revisions ensure a due process for any priest accused of sex abuse, takes power away from lay people, giving it all to the bishops, allowing them to work in secrecy. Changes also include a statute of limitations on allegations of sex abuse. Whatever the final policy, many victims groups and parishioners will still disapprove arguing the bishop's plan does not go far enough. But as the church tries to close the door on one sex scandal, another is brewing. The Vatican is now drafting a document that could ban homosexuals from the priesthood. It's a big, big crisis that the Vatican is precipitating. Richard Seip, a retired priest and psychotherapist, has studied sex abuse in the priesthood for 40 years. He estimates 30% of all Catholic priests are gay. So the Vatican coming along and saying we're going to keep all homosexuals out of the clergy is like a gay bar refusing to serve homosexual patrons. It doesn't make any sense. It is very painful to be apart from your church, to hear your church leaders say that there's something wrong with you, that God made a mistake, you know, when, when God made you. That, that is painful. Father Jim Morris is a gay priest. Homosexuality and pedophilia, he says, are not related. The scapegoating of gay priests with this terrible um, scandal in the Catholic Church has, has been another terrible scandal. Scandals and solutions. It is the double dilemma now facing the American Catholic Church. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Washington. On the CBS Market Watch, light trading. This waltz on Wall Street this holiday. Concerns about a war with Iraq since stock prices lower. A triple digit loss for the Dow. Coming up next, Eye on America investigates. If a terrorist wanted to build a bomb, he could get everything he needs without a license right here. Just imagine what the world would be like if everyone had farmer's insurance to get things back to the way they were. Farmer's insurance gets you back where you belong. Imagine combining the stain-fighting power of Efferdent and freshening power of Listerine. You'd get Efferdent.